Hello, and welcome to the Complexity Explorer course, Introduction to Dynamical Systems and Chaos. I'm Dave Feldman. I teach physics and math at College of the Atlantic in Bar Harbor, Maine, and I'm a member of the Complexity Explorer team. Thanks for signing up for the course, and thanks for stopping by to check this out. The goal for this class is to give you a solid, grounded introduction to the key ideas and themes that emerge from the study of dynamical systems and chaos. For example, at the end of this class, you'll know exactly what the butterfly effect is, what strange attractors are, and how to apply these ideas to areas of your interest. We'll do just enough math in this course so that we can talk about these ideas in a concrete and grounded way. This class is structured as follows. The first part of the course, units one and two, will be introductions to the two dynamical systems, or two types of dynamical systems that we'll study iterated functions, and then differential equations. The second part of the course, units three to eight, three to nine, cover the main material uh, of the course. Here you'll learn about chaos and the butterfly effect, bifurcations, universality, phase space, strange attractors, and pattern forming systems. Then in the, in the last part of the course, I'll conclude and try to draw together and draw out some of the key themes and I'll also conduct interviews with a few other scientists and mathematicians who have studied and done work in dynamical systems. There are a few more things I'd like to mention before we get started. First, my experience has been that units one and two can be a little bit challenging in some ways. For some of you, the material may seem too basic. For others, it may seem a little bit too hard. And it may even be, in a certain sense, both at the same time, and that we'll be covering some unfamiliar terms, but it may seem uh, repetitious and like we aren't going very fast or covering interesting material yet. My experience though, teaching the course both online and here at College of the Atlantic, is that the time we spend in uh, units one and two are well worth it. When we make it through, we'll all more or less be in the same place, even though we have different backgrounds and experiences, and then we'll be able to go into the main course of the material and do some really fun and fascinating stuff. So if uh, it seems a little bit too basic, don't worry, it will get more complex soon. And if it seems a little bit too hard, don't worry, you'll make it just fine. And if you have uh, questions or there are things you would like uh, more explanation about, you can ask questions on the course form and Either I can respond or one of the other course participants can respond. So stick with it through units one and two. I want to say a little bit more about the math background you need for this course. The only math that I'll be relying on is pretty basic algebra. So basic notion of a function, some very simple algebraic manipulation, and then the idea of a graph of a function. We won't be doing uh, complicated algebra of any sort. So if you're worried about your math background, don't be. You'll be fine. And you can always get help on the discussion form if you need it. If you have a more extensive math background, perhaps you've taken calculus, differential equations, maybe physics or engineering classes, I think you'll still get a lot out of this class. My experience has been that the type of math we do in dynamical systems is often not taught in traditional classes and complements really well some of the more analytic and linear approaches you might have gotten in your other classes. A few logistical things uh, to end up. Posted today are units one and two. So as I've said before, this is sort of the bumpy introductory part of the course where we're getting everybody synchronized to the material. And so two units are posted at once. Um, you can go through these units quickly. Some of you will want to do it right away, or you can go through them slowly. The, the course is um, self-paced. So you can take the, the quizzes and the tests at the end of the unit at any time. So two units are up. Most weeks I'll be posting just one unit and I'll be posting those on Monday morning here in the East Coast of the US. The next video uh, in the sequence is from Melanie Mitchell, the director of the Complexity Explorer project. And she'll tell you a little bit about how to use the site, the different elements, how to find the discussion form, how to take the quizzes, and so on. If you've taken the Complexity Explorer class before, you can probably skip that video and then go right to the next video in this unit, which I think is on a basic introduction to functions. So again, welcome to the course. 
I'm glad you're signed up. I'm really looking forward to teaching it, and I hope you have fun and learn a lot.